a while back. Um, and this time we're doing it in Fable Anniversary Edition because there's a couple discrepancies between the two games. The first one that I want to address here is the difference between Heroic and Chicken Mode. Uh, chicken Mode basically being the way the game was originally in Fable of the Lost Chapters, whereas Heroic Mode actually changes a few things about the game that stop you from doing this exploit uh, the way it's originally done in Fable of the Lost Chapters. So if you've already started a game on Heroic Mode, you'll have to restart the game in Chicken Mode for this exploit to work. So first things first, we're going to have to collect as much gold as we can while we're a kid and while we're a teen. Since the anniversary version of the game doesn't let us hero save, we won't be able to use the hero save exploit to get enough gold to buy all the apples that both of the uh, traders have in stock here. Uh, so the only way to do this is to get the gold from doing the Demon Door race uh, and getting the gold for doing the quests and whatnot and graduating the guild. And then also, we're going to have to fight Whisper to get the katana to sell that to the trader just to get enough gold. Now, you might even be able to pull this off without doing the Demon Door race and just relying on the money that you get from doing these quests and also from the katana, but you definitely need at least the katana to do this because getting all this gold on its own is not enough to buy all of the apples that both the bartender and the trader have in stock. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do these quests real quick here. You know, you guys have done this before. You kill the beetles, all that fun stuff. But every last bit of gold here definitely helps because it's going to be a long road ahead of us. It definitely took me 20 or 30 minutes to do this uh, all together. Um, you know, after completing all this guild stuff here. Uh, so yeah, now we're a teenager, we're just gonna whip through this real quick. Um, see now, normally you wouldn't have to go this far in Fable of the Lost Chapters, but because we're not able to do the hero save exploit, we are gonna have to complete the training with Whisper, so we're just gonna do that real quick. And now we're going to do the final battle with Whisper, and I want you to take note of how long this takes with the normal iron longsword that you start with here. Uh, it takes quite a few swings here. Uh, you know, of course she dodges it a bunch, but, you know, we don't, we don't do too much damage with this iron longsword here. It definitely takes us quite a while to do good work on her here. So, now that we are done doing the training with Whisper, instead of going over to the archery range, we're going to wait for the master trainer to come down, and we are going to do the graded battle with Whisper. Now, this one's not too hard to get an A plus on. I think you can get hit like once or twice and still get an A plus. So you just gotta kill her without getting hit too many times and you'll pretty much get the katana. But we do it on our first try, no problem. Not that hard to do. Um, again, take note of how long it took to kill her with the iron longsword. So here we go, we got the katana. Now it's time to sell all the stuff to the trader. Uh, or at least sell the katana to him. So we're gonna sell the katana here. Iron katana, we get quite a bit of gold for that. I think we could actually do this with just the iron katana, but uh, we do all the other stuff just in case. And you'll see here we can get 34 apples from him, but it's not quite enough to do the trade exploit with. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the minimum is. I think it might be 35 uh, because the bartender has another five that will bring our total to 39. So we're gonna go down to the bartender real quick and buy his full stock of apples. So as you can see here, he's got five of them in stock, and we're just going to buy all of them. And then we're going to go back to the main trader to start doing the trading exploit. Uh, I'm just looking at the beer prices here because I was considering doing uh, beer trading once I had enough money. And uh, just be forewarned, it does not work. Uh, it doesn't matter how many beers you have, you will always take a loss with beer. Uh, it's just weird like that. So here we are again, we're back at it with the trader, and we're just going to sell these apples here real quick. Now you'll see that I can sell the bulk of 39 of them for 3 gold apiece. Uh, now here we're going to encounter the first little problem here with the anniversary version of the game, and that is the fact that this sell window stays grayed out here. So as you'll see here, we'll buy the apples back for 2 gold apiece. But even though we buy them back, the sell button here still stays uh, grayed out. So we can't click it and then sell the apples again. We actually have to exit this screen here, uh, reinitiate the trade with the trader, and now the sell button is you know orange again. So we can click it now and then sell our apples again for three gold a piece for a profit of one. And uh, every time we want to do this little exploit, we actually have to 
leave the window and reinitiate the trade screen and that is the only way that we can use this exploit so the exploit that was already tedious in fable the lost chapters has now become even more tedious due to them just completely destroying the user interface for this game so uh, congratulations to whoever it was that decided that this was the direction they should go with the anniversary version but it's it's terrible i know it's not the way the game's meant to be played but it's just really annoying that we have to do it this way just to make a buck in this game so i'm just going to speed this little process up here a little bit i just want to show you a little bit of this just to you know get an idea of how tedious this is even when it's sped up uh, i think this process uh, just just trading with the apples took me about 20 minutes because after this we're going to switch to the will potions once we have enough money here so that's that's going to be a thing. So after we accumulate a little over 2,000, I think it's like 2,200 or 2,300 you need, uh, we can finally buy all of the will potions in stock. Now, normally it would be a lot easier to get to this point. You know, you could use the hero save exploit uh, to increase the amount of apples you have so that you can sell more apples at once to get more profit at a time. Uh, and you can do the same thing with the will potions once you're able to afford the will potions. Uh, but since there's no hero saving, we have to do it with the bare minimum. So even with the will potions, it takes kind of a while we can only do this about 1k profit at a time uh, but that 1k profit at a time is definitely a lot better than the like 50 or 60 profit at a time we we're making actually not even that we we're just making 39 profit at a time that's right we were only making one profit off of each apple uh, but now we're making I think 20 or 22 profit off of each will potion so it's it's a lot it's a lot quicker here so here we're just going to take a quick look at how much money we're going to need for the weapon we're getting now in the last video I went and I got the master greatsword uh, but for the sake of time and sanity I'm just going to go for the master longsword because it's almost half the price of the master greatsword and also we can't even carry the master greatsword anyway so it's it's, it's kind of pointless to have that big heavy weapon that we can't swing around. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to get right back to it. And I guess I'll see you guys when I have enough money for the Master Longsword. Alright, so we finally have enough money for this thing. Definitely, definitely don't want to do this any more than we have to. So we're definitely getting the Longsword. We're not going to go for the Master Greatsword. So we're going to get the Master Longsword here. And next we're going to look at some armor. Now, there's only three pieces of plate armor here. We have the gloves, the boots, and the leggings. We do not have the chest piece for the plate. So we're just going to fill in that blank with a leather chest piece. Um, we're going to get that one first because it's the cheapest. And then we're going to raise some more money so that we can get all these armor pieces. Uh, I think the legs themselves are 11 k and then the, the other ones are not quite as much. But we're probably going to need about 15 k total here. So we're just going to do that real quick too. Alright, so we finally have raised enough money for all the armor pieces here. Uh, so we're just going to get the plate leggings last. That was the last piece I was waiting on here. And now here's like the last stink that I have with this game. And it took me forever to find how the fuck to get to the goddamn inventory screen. Uh, especially because I didn't have an Xbox controller. You know, I couldn't just like press every button. It's a little bit harder to press every single button on a keyboard. So I actually had to go to the fucking option menu and spend like two minutes figuring out which button actually brings you to the inventory screen. Because it's not the same as the pause button. What the fuck? So now that we've finally made it to the inventory screen, we can finally put on all of our equipment. So as you can see here, we've got the leather chest piece, we've got, you know, the plate armor, you know, all the places we could get it. And we've got ourselves a nice master longsword here. Uh, so that's nice. And now that we've got all the stuff we need, without further ado, let's go fight Whisper again. All right, now take note of how easily I just demolish her here. Two hits and she's done. Now, if you remember from the last video, if I had the Master Greatsword, I would have demolished her in just one fatal blow. Anyways, that's it for this video. This has been how to get the best armor and weapons in the game before even finishing the guild training. And of course, that's the anniversary version of the game and not the lost chapters. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like if you did. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see any more of this content or any other gaming content that I feature on this channel. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.